we're all part of the same community. And today, voters across Kansas came together. We chose to put people before politics. That means cooperation, compromise, and bipartisanship. This campaign was guided by a spirit that put our families first. And tonight, I'm here to tell you that that is what will guide me as your governor as well. That means a laser focus on responding to your priorities. First and foremost, strongly supporting our public schools. When I said on the campaign trail that I'm running to be the education governor, I meant it. And I, I will be. Public schools are the backbone of our communities. Our school teachers take on the most honorable of missions, educating our children. So let me be clear, we will no longer get by doing the minimum. We will truly invest in our children's futures. We are going to properly fund our schools this year and next year and every year after that. And every year, every month, every day that I'm your governor. And we're gonna make sure our schools prepare our children for a changing economy. Modern classrooms with modern technology. We owe that to our children, to their parents, and to the future of our state. You know, because at the end of the day, we want our children to graduate from high school or college and find jobs right here in Kansas so they can stay here and raise their families close to home. Our economy is changing, and not only do we have to adjust to it, we have to seize it because Kansans can be a leader if we work together. And so we're gonna get serious about job training opportunities for our workers, programs that offer affordable and flexible to the schedules of working adults. So working men and women can pick up the skills they need to rise in the workforce, get that job that's been just out of reach and earn a little more money for their families and feel like they are moving forward. And you know another way we can help? It's long past time to expand Medicaid. Yeah. So, that, so that more Kansans have access to affordable health care. Our, our rural hospitals could stay open. And the tax dollars that we've been sending to Washington can come back home to Kansas to help our families, our state. You know, it's something that Republican and Democrat governors across the country have embraced. Healthcare is a critical need for all Kansans, and for too many, it's still inaccessible and unaffordable. We can build a bipartisan group to get that done, but we can only do this, we can only do anything if we work together. What we're seeing in Washington, the division, the lack of decency, the insults, and the fighting, we simply have to be better than that here in Kansas. And we are better than that. We saw historic cooperation in last year's legislative session to reverse the brownback tax experiment. Now, no one person, not even the governor, can act alone to achieve consensus. That's the whole point. And in that spirit, I promise you this, I will do everything in my power to set the right tone. I will listen every day to leaders from both parties 
and to the people of this state. We'll take the best ideas no matter where they come from and we'll work together despite our political labels. Now, it won't be easy. We all know we have a very long, challenging road ahead of us. These past eight years have been a hardship, no doubt about that. But we're a people united by a common set of values, the spirit of neighbor helping neighbor, respect for one another, and always doing right by our children. Those are the values that drew my family to Kansas more than three decades ago. And Kansans are no stranger to hardship or hard work. We don't want things handed to us. We don't expect life to be easy. That raw grit, that fierce determination is part of our history. It makes us who we are. And if we work together, if we put partisanship aside and Kansas families first, then the sky truly is the limit to what we can achieve together. Whether I earned your vote or not, I want you to know that I will work to earn your trust. I am, I am so deeply humbled by the trust that Kansans have put in me. I'm honored to lead this magnificent state. And I'm thankful. I am so thankful to each and every one of you. Now tonight, celebrate. Tomorrow, let's get to work. Love me, my young people.